Got a book launch in two weeks at Dusex Machina uh, on the 14th of September. It's going to be set up like a sort of super adventure sort of theme. Um, if you ever remember, the, remember Revenge of the Nerds, there's going to be like a little racetrack out the back for uh, little sort of mini motocross bikes with Brownie, fancy little stunt rider, and uh, Brown's Graphics Brownie. Um, and if you want to come along, feel welcome. We'll be flogging these things. And frisbees, if you like frisbees. There's going to be lots of frisbees there too. And ladies, lots of ladies. And men, if you're a lady. Basically, it is a journey I took from Australia to the Arctic Circle by land and sea over two years. Um, 90,000 kilometres. I went to jail, dislocated a few bones and relocated them. Went 14,000 kilometres down the Amazon. Uh, crossed the Andes three times. Travelled on smuggling yachts from um, Colombia up into Panama. Lived in the Panamanian slums. Um, what else? Almost hit a Puma. Met the president of Panama. Swam in the Arctic Circle. Rebuilt my engine four times due to my seriously bad abilities when it comes to mechanics. Um, and had the time of my life. Finally arrived at the end. Got really sick. Got giardia, dysentery, amoebas, parasites, and a few other little things on the side, which you can read about in there. And basically, it was a pretty extraordinary experience that totally changed my life and now I can't do anything else and I'm pretty much incapable of working inside in an office like these guys. So it's a bit debilitating, it's like a disability. The process of writing, it started off as a blog, so I had a website, loston.com, um, ended up getting about 2 million hits a year from about 70 different countries um, on the blog, which was really good, so I uploaded photos, videos, maps, diaries, all that sort of stuff. And then from that, Basically, Pam McMillan approached me and they said, hey, we like your blog, good stories, do you want to write a book? I said, yes. I wrote four pages and they gave me a big sum of money and they said, go for it, excellent, well done. Um, but then it took me three attempts and like four years to actually finish it. So really I probably earned about maybe one cent a day. Um, so now I've got no money left. Um, so I encourage anyone and everyone to buy this book because if you do buy the book, then I can go away on another adventure which I'd really, really, really like to do. But until I have money, I'm stuck on my sorry ass here. As you can see, maybe my clothes are breaking down. I don't really have holes in my jeans here. I can only afford singlets. Um, my helmet's really getting crusty and old. My gloves have holes in them. My underwear, I don't have any because I can't afford them, so I've got no money left. So if you're going to buy the book, you'll be seriously entertained. The book is $34.95. You can buy it from your local bookstore, or if you find me on Facebook, Steve Crumby, or Twitter, Steve Crumby, um, then I'll forward you a book, and that'll give me an extra couple of bucks on the side. They're also running a giveaway. The competition is based around... Signing up for a newsletter. Signing up for a newsletter. So if you sign up for a newsletter in the next... Uh, it's a little while. <laughs> in the next eight weeks, you may win a copy of the book, um, which is very exciting for you. Another thing, if this gets up before Father's Day, what better gift to buy for your dad? This is a perfect adventure, men's own adventure, also good for ladies. If you've got a lady in your, uh, in your life, you should enjoy it as well. So pretty much anyone, really. Old people, young people. Um, gay people if you need to start a fire and you're going away it's a really good way to pack it pack things really small um, but I recommend you read it first there's also lots of pictures for people who can't read there's heaps of pictures in there of like jumping between fancy rocks and stuff bending handlebars almost hitting pumas hanging out with the president of Panama half nude um, pretty girls tattoos Mm, cocaine addicts. Soon there will also be footage on the Transmoto website of uh, From the Journey. I only recorded 26 hours of footage on a lovely DV camera and then I had to sell my camera to do an engine rebuild in Mexico City because I ran out of money. So, But I edited that down to about 22 minutes of which you can see a short sequence on the Transmoto website. And I've been awake since 4.30 and I had like four hours sleep because I've been spruiking this little fella. So I apologize if I look tired, I'm not stoned, I'm just really tired. The only way I'm coming home is by bike or by box. This is the first line I wrote in a notebook designed for this journey. And as soon as I wrote it, I decided this was to be a trip from which I would never return the same. 
I spent years planning a motorcycle adventure to the seven natural wonders of the world by land and sea with two of my best mates. We had a party on a hotel rooftop in Bondi to celebrate our departure. And after a few beers, one of our friends blurted out their thoughts. My bet's one's going to be forced out, one's going to choose out, one's going to make it through in more time than they anticipate. But good luck to all of you. And so the journey begins. We landed in South America and fought our way through Chilean bureaucracy at the customs office to extract three motorbikes from their warehouse and prepared for what we planned to be a record-breaking motorcycle journey around the planet. we we'll do battery and then we've got oil and then we've got um, petrol. And we're pump up the wheels and then we're done. We really thought that three years preparation had given us the knowledge to combat whatever the gods threw our way. But one lesson was learned very early in the journey. If anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. Steve's already been done. He's gone off for a bit of a joyride without a helmet and uh, has been pulled over the first 30 seconds. <laughs> Pretty good start to the trip, but hey. Anyway, we're going to go. Yeah. Right. Jackets on, helmet on and uh, out of here. We left the capital of Chile, happy to be on the road. And on the third day in... There's one mirror. <laughs> There's the rest of the ship. That's exactly where it landed. My sonny went all the way over there. I had a big stack. Really? Yep. Were you going too fast? Yep. I was enjoying it though. Speed kills, doesn't it?